Let's do we... this shit. Are we right. playing this... Donkey Kong Country 3? Indeed. This is Kefit. This is Moogie. And that guy is Moogie. Yeah. We're not on and... drugs. We've just been trying to get this to record for like five months. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, this is Donkey Kong Country 3, the inferior sequel to Donkey Kong Country 2. So it stars I'm going Dixie to Kong Kitty Kong. Yep. Oh fuck. I better erase that. Okay, so I'm going to be uh, doing a 105% run, and um, that means I have to enter in a code at the title screen. I don't really know what the code is, so I just mash the L and R buttons till it works. Maybe that is. Oh, the there code. we go. Okay, so now we have to enter this code. Oh, it's set on uh, French. Yeah, I think I'll it, keep it there. It, it's set on French because we're Canadian. Yeah, we're, we're very Canadian. We're not actually Canadian, but it's it. Yeah, that's Canadian, Canadian suck. Okay, so here's our code. Toughest. That gets rid of all the star barrels and all the DK barrels, which makes the game harder in theory, although it's really not hard still. It and, actually makes um, it easier in some aspects because you get back your other dude at the start of every stage. Yeah, that's true. That's very nice for some things. So anyway... Um, we're at the Donkey Kong Country Islands or something, and here's the Savgard de Winkley, and, um, yeah, bonjour! And she, uh, tells she us... has an N64, if you'll notice. Yeah, that's pretty advanced for this game, because it was released in, like, 1996. Um, and Did now she in... shows us all the shit that we have to collect, because there's lots of shit to collect in this game, because it's a game made by Rare, and that's what they do. And yeah, later on, their item collecting kind of got to the point of ridiculousness. And like DK64, Banjo Tooie, and um, Jet what was Force that Gemini. one game? Jet, Jet Force Gemini. So, I never um, actually played Jet Force Gemini. Neither did I. Although I always told myself I wanted to. This is the drug doors. They bizarre. It's completely worthless. But you see that shell and that mirror back there. We're gonna have to come yeah. back here later when we have bear coins to buy them. Speaking of bears, this is one of the brothers bear. They're one of the stupid additions to this game. There's a bunch of them. The the only purpose they have is to give you banana birds in random ways. And basically, and this the is, bears are all gay and suck. Yeah, pretty much. This is Funky. In this game, Funky has taken off his shirt and he is ripped. And um, <laughs> yeah, and he's got like a wrench and shit, and he's like fucking badass. Yeah, so he starts by throwing the worst character in the series at us, in Kitty Kong. He's uh, pretty terrible, both in concept and in actual play. But then he gives us the Norse board to make up for it. So up like, here is a beach. And on all and beaches, there's uh, caves. This is the birds. plague button. Yeah. So you have to play a Simon Easy, Says quiet, Memory three, game. Nine, and three, yeah. Three, three, A. I didn't work. So, but, um, uh, <laughs> yeah, he kept it wants me to try and mess him up, but it's probably not going to work. Well, may, may, it might in the later stages. Uh, you'll have another chance pretty soon. So, we're going to start at Lac Orangutanga, and Peru du Lac will be our first means, stage. It's just. Oh, you know what that means? Because I don't. It, it, it means, like, Peril Lake. Cool. In French. So. This is the first stage of the game. It's some random, like, pier that has nothing to do with anything. Because nothing in this game has anything to do with any game. Um, Donkey Kong anything. Country 2... Yeah, 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 that would work. Donkey Kong Country 2 has this really cool pirate motif going through the whole game that works really well. This game is just, like, random shit that they throw at you. Like, if, if there is a motif in this game, it's reversed controls. Because, like, pretty much every stage does that. No, only one stage does that that I know of. I, I'm pretty that, sure there's like five. I'm sorry. I hope not, because that one stage is painful enough. Just turn your controller upside down. Since you're playing in ZSNES, just reverse the controls. But that would be... That would be cheating. And oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Kefit's doing this without save states because he's a faggot who thinks he's better than us. Pretty I mean, much. just saying. I mean, it's... yeah, I guess. Yeah. I don't know, I just don't want this uh, this LP to suck as much as that Donkey Kong Country 2 one does. 
Right. Well, in this bonus game, you have to co uh, avoid collecting the green bananas. If you collect them all, you in fact lose the game. Well, actually, it and... deletes your save file. Oh yeah. So Kevitt's gonna like not collect the green bananas here. See. Actually, oh. yeah. Yep. And we got a bonus coin, and those are bonus coins, I guess. Okay, this is Ellie. She's great because she can do lots of cool stuff, like jump and uh, pick up barrels. Wait, I'm... did the bonus coins actually do anything in this game? Yeah, I you think... need them later on to unlock oh, stages. Oh yeah, you, you give them to that guy in the random uh, Lost World place. Yeah. Fuck, you missed it. Oh, fuck Amazing. you. Amazing. Ah! Fine, I'll get it with it. Kitty. Yeah, we, we, we just played DKC2, and like, Kitty is like... Diddy if he controlled, like, absolute ass. Pretty much. So, this is Chorus Cowport. It's a stupid mill level, and it's the introduction to the gimmick levels that are in this game, because most levels are gimmicks. See this door? I can't really go through it. Um, yeah. But there's a there's a, a lever I can pull that opens the door. It's a very clever gimmick that's used throughout the level in um, imaginative and intuitive ways. Yeah, um... And you can see the terrible, terrible rat, rat sprites. They like actually piss me off with how bad they are. I, I'm not entirely sure what Moogie's problem with the rat sprites is, because I don't really notice. But I'll take his word for it. Oh look, it's and, bees. They're really stupid in this game. Yeah, they, they've been like biologically altered to have saws inside of them and stuff. It must have been done by Berden von Grunenstein. Whoa, the Okay. Yeah, in this game, he's not King K. Rool. He's Baron Von Ruhlens trying for, like, absolutely no reason. It doesn't even have a K. I don't know. I, I guess it adds flavor of some sort. But it doesn't make sense if there's no K. I, I suppose. But, um, maybe there'll be a K because this will be the. We'll meet him in French if we keep this up. Uh, maybe. So, uh, um, more lever yeah. pulling, more bees, more doors. This is pretty much par for the course in DKC3. This is about as good as the level design gets. I don't know. There are a couple cool ones later on. But yeah, yeah, this is uh, pretty normal, sadly enough. Well, but at it looks least like the level best level in the game. Um, I liked, uh, there's a few cliff levels that I really like. Uh, the cliff levels are pretty cool, yeah. They also actually uh, have cool music, which is unusual for this game. Yeah, did, did, did Dave Wise not do the music in this one? I don't know, I've never actually looked into who did the music for this game. Because I know you're like obsessed nothing... with the soundtrack number two. Yeah, it's... this The music in this game doesn't compare at all to Donkey Kong Country 2. Some of it's alright, though. It doesn't I think even the factory compare, music's but... pretty cool, too. Factory music, yeah, I guess. The first game has cool music in places, but like the second game is like hardcore badass. Yeah. Again, that's probably due to the to like the pirate theme. I like to blame. Uh, I like to attribute everything the second game did well to the pirate theme. I, I love I don't pirates. Know why. It just seems to make sense. I actually don't love pirates, and in fact, the video just froze for me. It did. So, yeah. Is it still frozen? Yeah. It's definitely just sitting there doing nothing. Uh, that's that sucks. Yeah, so, it does uh, kind of suck. Okay, well, uh, I'll finish this stage and then um I'll pause the video for a second. So, be right back everyone. We're back. So, let's check out uh the save point and save our game. It's the soft guard actually. Yeah, j'adore les sous. You can see there's a banana bird in the background. They they all like to hang out with uh, Winkly Kong. I don't know why they just do. We've got five percent. Yeah, That's we're getting uh, pretty close to the hundred and five percent. So this guy is a brother. This guy is a brother bear. Uh, he's pretty useless. You bring him a shell, he gives you a banana bird. We'll do that later. Oh, it's a beach. You know what that means? It means I it's get to buy this for doors. Y B X Z A B Y L R three C. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
Yes, that um, because the the uh, Super Nintendo has a C button and a three button. Yeah, I think they're actually the same button. Yeah. Okay, this actually, level is. Hmm. What are you playing this with? Keyboard or? I've got a gamepad. Okay, because keyboard is gay. Yeah, although I played um. Ah, oh, damn it. I played Good job. all my ROMs and shit in the old days with keyboard. Well, so I, I mean, could probably I do that fairly well. So, uh. Um, oh, have you, have you explained Kitty skipping yet? No, but I'll get a chance in a, in a moment. Yeah, Kitty can, uh, skip on the top of water. It's really actually annoying to do, and, uh. And it only useless. has a few uses in the game. So let's try it again. There we go. So actually, I need to go back and get Unguard. I love Onguard. He's he and Everyone Squawks are the only original uh, critters left in this one. Now I, I keep thinking that Rambi shows up at some point, but I'm not sure. Rambi? I, I do not think Rambi is in this game. Oh, I think Squitters shows up, but he's uh he came in in TKC too. Yeah. So this level has a really really gay bonus stage. Um, we'll have fun getting it in a moment. Now the first couple of times, you. um, on the practice run in the first failed attempt to record, I got it on my first try. Let's see if I can do that again. I don't, I don't think you'll be able to. You're, you're pretty terrible at video games. Yeah, I am. Okay, okay this is where you here we go. Fuck! Mm. Fuck, I failed. Ah, lovely. So, um, so, yeah, I'll just uh, complete the stage, and then we'll get to do that again. And if I fail again, I'll pause the video until I get it. Okay, you only get one chance at that. Yeah, you gotta start the stage over if you fail. Because those beetles... Um, they oh. make stairs. That's pretty gay. Oh, here's a cool secret. You can throw Kitty right here, and then you get a one-up. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. Also, like, I... okay, the level ending thingies in this game are fucking terrible. Like, in DKC2, you rock out on a boombox and, like, shred on an electric guitar. In DKC3, you jump on a flag. And music plays. Yeah. And I think it's even the same music for um, Dixie and Kitty. It's yeah. It's it's the same music and like yeah. Basically, that's yeah. You should watch out for that fish. Yeah, I should. The fishes should uh, shoot laser beams. I think that would that would definitely make me watch out for it more. You should probably yeah. Okay. Well. Your track record with bees has not been very good, so please try to avoid them this time. I'm doing what I can. <laughs> Which is okay. not good enough, apparently. Okay. So let's try this again. Um, let's do it! There we go, Boom. I did it. Boom! Okay. Alright. Uh, you're warping to the bonus stage now? Yeah, the, the barrels in this game are lazy. They don't shoot you, they just warp you. Apparently they're so... lazy magical barrels. And here we go. Okay. All right. Now and you can press start and select because every Super NES game allows you to do that. I know it's it's very nice. So this is a random bo uh, snow level in on a lake. There's a snow level for no real reason. Yeah. It's also the first level of the game, which doesn't really make any sense because like you don't put snow levels this early. It's like basic design. I'm sorry, Rare. This is just un un unacceptable. I expect you to redo this game and release it on the DS. And on the Virtual Console. Oh, see these uh, these pink guys that are skidding around? Yeah, they're the gimmick of this level. The level's named after them. This is a very phoned-in level, by the way. I don't think I've ever heard that term used to refer to uh, level design, but yeah, it fits here. I, I, I use all the terms in the book when it comes to level design. Oh, really? You have a pretty book? Pretty much, yeah. I want a book. Uh, it's, it's pretty expensive. I don't know if Is you can really? afford it. 
Oh, yeah. Look at this! They don't even bother to hide this guy! He's just sitting right here for you to kill. Yeah, I think they made this level in like five minutes and are like, Oh man, this is the time we saved on this level can be used to snort weed. Yeah, cause they're not, uh, that's they're what They're not they very do. efficient drug users. That's not even hidden either. Well, it's, it's actually somewhat tricky to kill those guys and get up there without losing a Kong. You saw- Oh! Ooh! Yay, roll jumping. That was close. Especially since yeah. roll jumping is basically impossible with Kitty. No, actually, roll jumping is really easy. It's easier with Kitty than it is with Dixie, at least. Well, compared to Diddy... Wow, I, I already have more than 20 lives. That's pretty cool. Oopsie. <laughs> You're on, like, level 2. <laughs> And there's the exit. So that was a completely stupid and pointless Useless. level. Yeah. But it's uh, now, bound to be better than this one. We get the fucking elephant barn. <laughs> yes, yes. This level is uh, something else. So we get to be our best friend, Ellie. And um, as I mentioned before, Ellie can do cool things like jump and pick up barrels. That's lots of cool things that you can't do with the Kongs. So she's an elephant though, as you may have noticed, which means that like all cartoon elephants, she's afraid of rats. Now, luckily this is a pretty dark um, building, so you can't really see the rats, right? Yeah, but, but what happens but wait, when a rat goes into the light? She gets scared and runs. It's terrible. And if she so hits anything, she dies. Yeah, with any luck, uh, we'll get to demonstrate that at some point. Yeah. Inadvertently. Yeah. Also, the video froze again. It did? Yeah. Ah, damn it. Hold on. Okay, and we're back. So, uh, let's get Sorry about get that. I, 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 ah, I fuck! Gave... See, you, okay, did that you guys the last just got time. to see that. Yeah, I know. If, uh, you end up seeing the rat in the light, even if you fall down on top of it, you know, when you would normally kill it, you still die. Because so, uh, elephants are weak against rats. Yeah. It, it's been shown like, that a rat can, like, jump on an elephant and climb in its mouth and then kill it from the inside. Yeah, like, and... like elephants are fire elements and uh, rats are water element, and it just doesn't work out. Okay, this is the worst bonus game in the entire in the entire fucking game. You actually can't get hit by those bees. You can jump all you want, but they're not going to hit you. And you have, like, 50 years to do it, so... Yeah. They might as well and, uh, just give you the coin. Here's another here's another DK coin that's hidden really well. Well, you actually have to like put some sort of effort into that one. You have to like suck it. I suppose. Although if you, I, it should really just hit the other wall even if you don't suck it towards you. That's true. <laughs> so Oh yeah, the red bees can't be killed. Except in DKC3, they actually can be killed. But you need like TNT barrels to kill them. Or invincibility. Yeah, and there's... In, in the event that they need to die, then there's always something conveniently nearby. Yeah. And I... Now you I just... just... So, you just... <laughs> we suck at interrupting each other. Now you yeah, just saw much. me use Ellie's uh, cool suck move where... You suck the barrel and it comes close to you. Yeah, and oh, then you use it again to dodge to the bees. Oh. Uh oh, these bees are gonna be hard to dodge. Shit, shit! Oh my god! Oh, I did it. Okay. This is like fucking Toho dodging shit right here. Yeah, I think this okay. is a lot harder than Toho, really. <laughs> yeah, this is basically a bee dodging simulator. Except not just normal bees, but like bees with fucking buzz saws on their back. Cause you really want to dodge that kind of thing. Yeah, gigantic fucking bees, actually. Well, those rats are pretty, um, pretty giant. Maybe that's why yeah. Ellie is so fucking scared of them. <laughs> okay, yeah, I... um, so that's every level in Lakuranga Tonga, and uh, this is the show de Swanky where you face Swanky Kong and. Well, actually, he just runs a game where you battle Cranky Kong. It's useless. I'm never going to play it. It's so, gay um, and don't play. Okay, yeah. this is the uh, Grand de Belcha. Yeah, this is the first boss. It's actually probably the stupidest boss in Donkey Kong Country, which I'll, I'll takes some it. doing. As you can see, what you're facing is an infinite amount of barrels. This is unlimited barrel works. Yes, yes, it is. 
and it's actually a barrel that spits out barrels that contain beetles and the barrel the large barrel burps wow i and beat him in two <laughs> beetles i thought you needed at least three that, that was like croco meyer easy of easy edition except without any cool like any cool like, missiles or anything so anyway that's the that's the first world so that's gonna be the end of this recorded. video <laughs> so do i so um Join us next time on We'll Tackle World 2.